called it bigger a few videos back. I showed you how to make a male figure. So this week I'm going to show you how to make a female version. If you're new here and you like cakes and toppers and creating things, make sure you subscribe and let's get started in making this female folded figure. Well hello! Welcome back to another tutorial. We're going to kick off this one by creating the face. So mold some flesh coloured fondant into an oval shape and using your two thumbs pinch where you want to place the eyes. Use your fingers to mold a nose and carve out some eye sockets. Smooth these out using a ball till and mark the position of your mouth. Place some white fondant inside the eye sockets and smooth these out and also place some white fondant over where you want the mouth to be. To create lips, roll some pink fondant thin at each end and position these on and just work with them until you get them into a nice lip shape. Using black edible paint, create some nice big eyelashes. Let me know if you're enjoying this tutorial by hitting the like button and what would you like to see me create next time? Let me know in the comments below. Once you've decided on the eye colour, place two balls of fondant inside the eye sockets, smooth them out and outline them with some black edible paint. Some black fondant to create pupils, smooth these out as well and create some lovely catch lights using some white edible paint. And create some eyebrows using some edible paint. I don't know what it is about creating eyebrows that I just love. I think it's maybe just me wanting to live vicariously through the toppers. Man, I would love eyebrows like that. Give her some nice pink rosy cheeks using some edible luster dust. Next, I'm going to show you some really cool techniques on how to create your own fondant clothes. So roll out a snake of fondant, cut it in half, use your fingers to create an indent where the knee is going to be, use a quilting tool to create some stitching, this is such a cool way to create a fondant denim effect. Create some dents using a cake decorating tool or whatever you have handy. And now dust on some blue edible dust and focus more on the outside of the legs and that'll give a faded denim effect in the middle. I love using this technique whenever I'm creating denim. It gives you such a great result. Stick that on and you can check out my tutorial on how to create fondant of boots by clicking the link above. Roll some fondant into a cone shape for the upper body and don't worry about the colour of the upper body because the hoodie's going to be covering this. The only part that needs to be flesh coloured is the neck which you create by rolling a small sausage of fondant and use your ball till to carve out a hole in the bottom. Insert a barbecue skewer and stick that on. Next I'm going to show you how to create a fondant hoodie. So roll out a thin piece of fondant, trim into a rectangle shape, cut in a V shape at the top and create a trim at the bottom using your knife till. Trim this to size and then create a logo using edible paint. Stick that onto your cake topper, work with it until you get it nice and smooth. And now we're going to create a little pocket. So cut out a pocket type shape, use your quilting tool to create some stitching. And stick that on, make sure it's loose at either side. We're going to create the topper so that the hands are inside the pocket. So you want to make sure that you're going to have plenty of space to stick your hands inside. So roll a snake of fondant, shape it so that it's thinner at each end. Press down in the middle using a ball tool. And define the outer edges with a cake decorating tool. Use your fingers to shape it into a more hoodie like appearance. Pinch at either end and add some stitching and stick this on. Now let's give her some arms. Roll a snake piece of fondant, cut it in half and using your fingers create an indent where the elbow is going to be. Fold that up and create some creases as well and make sure the arm that you make it narrow at the bottom so that it can fit inside the pocket. Stick those on and let's stick her head on now as well. Oh hi! Now all that's left to do is her hair. So roll out some snake pieces of fondant, narrow at each end, 
Roll out a handful of these to start off with and use your knife tool to create some indentations to make it look more like hair. Roll out a fat piece of fondant, this will cover the back of the head. I'm far too lazy to create loads of individual pieces to cover the back. So every time I'm doing a topper I just create a big piece that will cover the back and then small individual strands that will cover the sides and of course the front. I know, I know, I say it every time. I love this bit when the topper comes together and you can really see it coming to life. What's your favourite part about creating cake toppers? Mine is definitely the face and the hair. Maybe I'm just weird, I don't know. Let me know in the comments what your favourite part of cake decorating is. Share this tutorial with any of your cake decorating friends. I know we're a weird bunch, aren't we? At least we've got each other. And of course, consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my future videos. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!